Hello, I'm Sothi Pong from EDA International, Thailand. Today I'm going to show you how to quick start with Genesis 32. After install Genesis 32, you can find Genesis 32 from start program. I connect Genesis 32. In Genesis 32, there are main module, alarm works, grab works, and train works. Today, we will use grab works. Mostly, we use grab works to create a display for SCADA system. After open Grabworks 32, it is a workspace toolbar and graphic library. This is simple system of SCADA. There are some hardware, OPC server and OPC client. In this point of view, Genesis 32 is OPC client. It requests data to OPC server. Then OPC server requests data from hardware such as PLC, DCS, or controller. OPC server is a software. It's not hardware. You can install OPC server in the same PC to Genesis 32 or separate that PC. If you would like to display some value from PLC, through the OPC server. You can use the process point. Click on process point and then click on workspace. The property inspector of the process point appears. Then click on data tags. On the OPC DA tab, you can find the OPC server on your system under My Computer or over Network, under Network Neighborhood or over Internet. In this example, I will connect to the OPC server in my PC. I will use Iconic Simulator. Iconic Simulator is not a real OPC server, but it has the same structure to OPC server. We can use for testing purpose or internal purpose, such as storing the value for the SCADA system. Click on Iconic Simulator and simulate PLC, and then on some signal. In this case, I select random signal. Click OK, and then click OK again. If you would like to go to runtime, click on runtime. And you can see the display of the value from OPC server. Back to design mode by click on configure. You can switch between runtime and configure by press on control key on the keyboard and M. Click on control and M again. If you would like to input some value to the OPC text, you can use the process point. I will link to some OPC text. Under Outputs, select Float. You need to select Data Entry for capability to input the value to the OPC text. Then click OK. Go to Runtime. The current value of Float is zero. You can enter some value. Now the current value is changed. 
press enter after you input some value. Okay, now we're gonna show you how to create animation, how to force the object to animate corresponding to the signal. We can use the graphic from the standard tool, such as line, rectangle, circle, arc, or segment line, and text. Or you can use the graphic from the library. In Genesis 32 library, it, it is, uh, there are many, many, many graphics uh, cover several industry. You can put it on a workspace. You can right click on the object and then select edit symbol to edit some component of the object. If you would like to undo, click on undo. If you would like to exit from the component, press on escape on the keyboard. In this tutorial, I will use a simple object like a style code and then force is to move corresponding to the signal. I will use uh, the signal float to control this object. When you would like to animate the object, select the object and then select the dynamic. I will use the dynamic location slider I will use zigzag in this case. Click on set limits, then move the object to the target. And then create another point. Okay, now the object will move along the path corresponding to the signal. This is start position and this is, this is the end position. Okay, if you finish to create path, press on escape to get back to the property inspector and then click on data tags to choose the OPC tag. I use float. You need to specify the range override. In this example, I will use zero to 1000 and then click OK. Now, I will use the slider to control the float. Click on Iconics, slider, active X control. Then double click on it. Click on text to choose the OPC text browser. And then select float. You need to specify the range override from zero to 1000, same to the uh, slider, sorry, same to the path we have created. Then on the slider tab, click on continuous update. Then click apply, okay. Now get into runtime. Test to slide the bar along the slider. Just as you can see, the object is moving from the starting point to the end point, corresponding to my slider. This way, you can create an animation uh, to the object corresponding to the signal from PLC controller.